spectators. There will be no protests. There will be no booing. Protests, booing, debates is part of the culture of democracy. Now, unfortunately, people misunderstand this, misread this. Now, as in political democracy, people engage heads of state. People criticize heads of state. They call for their removal, etc. Because they are expressing freely that culture of democracy. If I was one of you, I would write columns and columns, educate people about democracy, and say how South Africa is democratic. Because that is, in a sense, a thermometer to check whether democracy works. A, 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 a country where there is no democracy, there will be an angry president charging the police to arrest these people. But democracy says, let the people express themselves. That's why, in democracy, governments are in place democratically and removed democratically through the vote. I don't know what is it that makes people to be excited. Perhaps it's the news, wealthy stuff, fun. But that is culture of democracy. In autocratic and dictatorship states, you can't see that. To me, I'm very happy that South Africans have matured in democracy. And you have a president that they can talk to, whatever is in their minds, it's not restricted. They are not going to be arrested, they are not going to be harassed. That is democracy. <laughs> Ne put so much divorce.